come to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. As we uh, continue looking at Philippians 4.11, I want to focus on a key word. And the key word is the word learned. The same word we uh, looked at in uh, verse 10, verse 9 and verse 10, learned. And there are some things that are difficult to learn. Why is it that uh, we find it difficult to learn contentment? For one thing, we uh, are slow learners. We are slow learners when it comes to the spiritual. We might be very good at learning uh, things uh, that which are educational, that which promote our career. But when it comes to the spiritual, myself included, we are slow learners. We uh, trivialize the spiritual and we don't take it seriously. We don't think it through and we don't try to apply it to our life. And also another problem is we forget so easily. We think we have learned it, but then we forget what we hear. Aristotle calls memory the scribe of the soul. Bernard calls it the stomach of the soul because it has a retentive uh, faculty and turns heavenly food into blood and spirits. I like that. Let the sayings of Christ sink deep down into our, through our ears, into our heart. Luke 9.44. And uh, the word must not only fall as dew that wets the leaf, but the word of God must fall as rain which soaks up the root of the tree and makes it very fruitful. Don't be satisfied with the dew. Look for the rain that can soak up the roots of your life and uh, soak up the word of Christ so that it becomes uh, fruitful. So to be content means to be self-sufficient and competent and to be independent of external circumstances and to be independent of all people. So here are the two resources that we need to be content. We need to have the word of Christ and the spirit of Christ living in our hearts. The word of Christ and the Spirit of Christ, the two resources that help us to be content. Paul realized that all what he needed was the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, when we come to that blessed condition, that all what we need is the person of the Lord Jesus Christ, then truly we can be content because we have the Lord, the word of Christ, and the spirit of Christ living within us. 1 Timothy 6.6, 6, we are told, godliness with contentment is great gain. So we need to measure our life, not by what we have in the bank, or the property, or the stuff, we need to measure our life by godliness that should characterize us and with the spirit of contentment. Am I godly? Am I content? That is great gain. That is a priceless treasure. And we all need to work hard every single day to make sure that we learn 
to be content and uh, to be thankful for what we have. And then as we share what we have with others who don't have, then we will come into the fullness of the secret of contentment. On the one hand, we need to be a joyful people. And Paul is telling us we also need to be a contented people, content in Christ. Paul is going to amplify on this in the next verses. But for today, may we all learn what 1 Timothy 6.6 6 says, that godliness with contentment is great gain. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.